Hello and welcome to the big picture. The people of Karnataka have given a clear and un unambiguous verdict. All the speculations about kingmakers have been laid to rest. The clear verdict means that the Congress will now have a full five-year term without having to bother about uncertainties. It means a huge opportunity as well as a major responsibility to fulfill all that they have promised the people of Karnataka. Their first test will be when the process of choosing the leader comes up before them in the next few days. How smoothly that process will be completed is important to gain the confidence of the people of Karnataka that they have done the right thing. Meanwhile, the results have brought many interesting aspects of politics in Karnataka. One, that factional leaders of major political parties will not find favor with the electorate. It had happened to stalwarts like Devrajas, H.D. Devegoda, and S. Bangarappa in the past, and now it is the turn of B.S. Yadurappa to learn that lesson. For the BJP, which frittered away the mandate of the people, it's a lesson that it cannot take people for granted. Misgovernance has been punished. Corruption has not been tolerated. Meanwhile, what does this mandate mean at the larger national level? How will it affect the various parties and their strategies for 2014? Or will it affect at all? These and many other questions and issues have cropped up. We will discuss all this today as we looked at, look at Verdict 2013 from Karnataka with a special panel of guests. I have with me Renuka Chaudhary, Congress spokesperson, Vinod Sharma, political editor, Hindustan Times, from Bangalore, D.B. Chandregauda, BJP MP. We'll, we, are, we are also joined by uh, K.S. Sachidananda Murthy, the resident editor of The Week magazine here in Delhi with me, and K. Satyanarayana, a veteran journalist and senior editor of the Kannada Prabha from Bangalore. Welcome to all of you. Uh, first, let me go to Mr. Chandre Gowda. Mr. Chandre Gowda. Thank you. Mr. Chandre Gowda, not, yes, a very, not a very good day for you people today. Yes, yes. No, certainly not, but I did not expect such a bad uh, results. And I thought that it is an eye-opener to the coming Lok Sabha elections, as you referred to earlier. Yes. And a trendsetter so far as Karnataka is concerned. After a, so many years of struggle, yes. down the south, first, first time the BJP has come to power, unmindful of the fact that whether they like, the, like it or not, but unfortunately, People did not give a clear mandate last time as they have given the mandate to Karnataka for Congress party this time. So therefore, we have to manage things. While ma managing, so many things have happened. I do admit that it has, it has certainly affected the administration. Certainly, it had taken away the time from the chosen representatives to concentrate on the state. And so many other things have happened. In the meantime, the opposition did not take so much of interest as it was to be exhibited, despite the fact BJP went on for five long years. Though interruptions, constitutional crisis, then, um, of course, legal uh, Le problems, legal internal problems, yes. socio-economic problems, Literally every, every article of the Constitution was pressed into service <laughs> and in the, ultimately the court also intervened. So therefore, the, the, the dilemma within the party was so much that we could not answer any questions people asked for. And second aspect of it is, yes. we have changed three chief ministers, right. whether it is right or wrong, we are, I have also seen the chief, three chief ministers being changed in 89 when uh, Veerappa Mele became the chief minister after Veerendra Patil and uh, Mr. Bangarappa. Right. The last man, Veerappa Mele, reduced Congress from 178 to 35 seats. Right. So then they brought in again Mr. the new changes in the Congress and perhaps you know much better than any one of us sitting in Karnataka. Mr. Jagdish, Mr. Jagdish Shatter has done the same thing. 
Jagdish Shetter also has done the same thing. Karnataka BJP was a one-man show. Right. So he failed to deliver goods. I must, uh, I must today accept at least people of Karnataka have realized and given a full mandate to Congress party. We have lost more than 20% of the votes. Last time the difference between BJP and Congress was hardly 1%. Right. This time it is more than 20%. <laughs> We are little less than JDS, right. a regional party. Right. So therefore, we should. This is this is this is the opportunity given by the people to correct ourselves. Okay. And Mr. Congress also also put to its size. They need they need they 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 they, they should know their limits also. Okay. While performing their duty. Okay, Mr. Gowda, you have been yes. pretty frank in admitting the failures. You please stay on. I'll come back to you, Sachi. Mr. Go Mr. Chandra Gowda says that the 2008, um, he has been pretty frank in admitting some of the failures yes, and yes. things like that, but 2008 mandate was the, the failure of the people to give a full mandate is what caused them to, you know, what led to all those problems. Do you agree with that? I don't think so. Because uh, in uh, 2008, when Mr. Edirapa was sworn in as chief minister, he had 110 MLAs Absolutely. and uh, he needed uh, three Just more three. and he got six uh, independents to support him. Right. But what made him embark on this Operation Lotus, and you know, Operation Lotus was not just buying opposition MLAs, making them resign, making them ministers, board chairman, but spending lavishly on the elections. You know, I, the money was flowing. It was a cash and carry garment. Right. So when you embark on that kind of corruption, that kind of political immorality, that continued. So, and then uh, he had to, who took the MLAs to resorts, go, go on uh, yatras, pay them money? He spoiled the MLAs. I mean, he was the, he was, this was a one-man show, that's right. But then the party did not control him, did not caution him when he was doing the operation. Absolutely. The, the, at the national level. So, it level was not a un, very unstable government. I mean, it was, yes, it was a dive edge, but... In Karnataka, you have seen um, in 1983-85, Ramkrishna Hegde managing a minority government Absolutely. with outside support. It has happened in Delhi also. Edurappa started on the wrong course that, and that has culminated in today's defeat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> before, uh, let me go to Renuka Chaudhary. Re, Re, okay, I think there's a problem with Renuka Chaudhary. Uh, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back to her. Uh, Mr. Satyanarayan, can you hear me? Mr. Satyanarayan? Okay. Uh, Mr. Satyanarayan, you heard, you must have heard what Mr. Chandra Gowda said. He has been pretty frank in admitting the failures of the of the BJP. You tell me, you know, when you look at the verdict today, mm. you think that the that the, the, is, this is a positive verdict for the Congress? It is a positive verdict, but not the manner in which it it was expected to be. Not not a big, not a big majority. Yes. Yeah, because, because, because the Congress had all the advantages in this election. Right. Yeah. Please, please continue, there, please continue. There was a divide, divide, there was a div Please continue, sir. Hmm. There was a divided opposition. You know, the only opposition at that time, yeah, now that uh, this is not a slender majority, it is enough to have, it is, it is enough to, rhyme, to rule for five years, yeah, without, without any clutches from opposition or anybody else. But the Congress, but the Congress expected a big majority so that, so that they can go about all over the country saying that Karnataka has given us a thumping victory, which it did not get. Okay. Okay. We know it is, it's not a thumping victory for the Congress, but still it is... Is it enough for them to go around saying that, you know, uh, that the, the, till the 2014 <coughs> elections, or at least to the elections in the, uh, to the four or five states which will come up in November, they should be able to keep their morale up? You see, I think there are two ways of looking at it. One, that in this, in their very, pre, in their present uh, very sorry state at the centre, the Congress uh, desperately required a booster dose. It has got one. Uh, it is uh, also at once uh, a reminder to the BJP uh, that uh, things are not all, all hunky dory for them. 
because their mascot, Mr. Modi, uh, the mythical Modi, uh, didn't find any favor with the electorate in Karnataka and or to the contrary might have ended up uh, uh, polarizing Muslim support for the Congress. Uh, you know, to so see the results in the coastal areas in Dharwad and in um, uh, and the Mumbai, uh, Karnataka area. Uh, these are the places where Muslims reside and these are also the coastal area were also the places where a lot of things happened which shouldn't have happened. So, but for the Congress, there's a lesson here. The takeaway for the Congress is not as much uh, the victory. Victory, of course, I think I, I, don't, I don't agree with the other panelists that it's no government should get a, no party should get a thumping victory. Should they should, should always be a strong opposition. Yes. Because if there isn't a strong opposition, then there isn't good governance. So I think that good governance requires a strong opposition. But the takeaway for the Congress here is that the mistakes they committed in Punjab, they haven't repeated in Karnataka. And this model, whether they can replicate in the four states that are due for polls in November, December, that is what they should be learning from this. And with do not, if they become complacent, then I'm afraid they may end up repeating Punjab rather than repeating Karnataka in the coming four elections. I think you've made an interesting point. I, uh, is, uh, can I get uh, Renuka Jodhri? Is she uh, available? Okay. Uh, there's still a problem there. M Mr. Chandra Goda, uh, Mr. Chandra Goda, the f you know, we will keep what, yes. what, what we know they've said aside for a, for a moment. I'll, I want to come back to the, to the results in Karnataka. Yes. You know, one of the things which was being spoken about during the yes. campaign before and even when Mr. Adyurapa quit the BJP and formed his own party was the caste factor. Do you think that this caste factor has... It's obviously, when you look at the results as far as the BJP is concerned and even the KJP, the, the kind of support which Adyurapa thought he would be getting, you know, we don't see that happening. How do you read this result when it, as far as the caste equations it's are concerned? It's an interesting analysis. I, for one, being in public life for the last 50 years, yes. I have never seen that the old Mysore Vakkaligas coming together. Right. If you analyze the JDS results, yes. more than 30, out of 40, 35 seats are from old Mysore area. Right. And beyond that, BJP has secured votes from Northern Karnataka. Right. Last time it was loaded fully with Northern Karnataka, but this time we lost. And we lost 4% of our votes, snatched away by Mr. Edwarapa himself. Right. And a little bit from, from uh, uh, the other uh, small bit of the BJP group. Yes, the, the BSR Congress. So, the BSR there was Congress. no cohesion. BSR Congress. There was no cohesion within the party. During even the selection of the candidates, nobody was consulted. They went on giving seats to whomsoever they choose. Mm. And their only criteria was not the winnability, but the loyalty. Right. So they have to pay for it. So you are... And, you, uh, you, you, this you are, is a good lesson. You are blaming, you are, you are blaming your own party for what... Anyway, my, but my question... The, the, the Lingayat factor, that, the, that, that this hope of Edurapa, and also there was a fear within the BJP also, that you know, once Edurapa leaves, the, 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 the Lingayats who were, who were the base of the BJP will go away. You think that has happened? You th or you think the BJ Lingayats have still continued to show some kind of a uh, favor towards the BJP? It did happen, and... Uh if you analyze the whole uh, results, the, the, wherever we have lost, we have lost because KJP has taken a considerable number of votes right. to see that the BJP is defeated. <laughs> this is what happened in Karnataka. And mostly after the removal of Sadanand Gowda, yes. I am flank. You know, you know Karnataka much, much more than what I do. After removal of uh, Sadanand Gowda, even Vakkalikas got angry. Yes. And uh, so the, both the major communities were treated not with the respect which they ought to have got. So that is one of the major reasons. I don't, I don't mean saying that Congress has uh, re respected them much. But okay. that's not the case. So okay, let, 
those who wanted to vote against BJP yeah. either chose KJP or JDS. Okay. That, that, that's interesting. Let me get Mr. Satnarayan on this. Mr. Satnarayan, the, uh, this verdict, as far as the caste is concerned, you think, you know, it, it, has, it, it, it has given some new, fresh insights into the, into, the, into the working of the voters in Karnataka as far as the caste issue is concerned? See, Zala, you are trying to think in terms of last election. Yes. And this election. Yes. The five years ago, five years ago, the Ling Lingayats had a very, very highly emotional subject. Right. That a member of that community has been deprived. This this time that issue, this time that issue is not there. Right. And therefore, but what was discussed this time in the assembly, in the public assemblies, was corrupt, was corruption, and the misrule of the BJP. Right. And uh, of the of the BJP. Say for uh, it was a incumbency factor. Is 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 nothing but bad rule. Is that that was that was what was evidenced in the northern Karnataka region. Right. If the Lingayats had if the Lingayats had decided to give up BJP, that Lingayat vote. Why did it go only to the Congress? Why why not the JDS? That is isn't that obvious that where the, the Lingayat's vote normally. I'll, let me get Sachi in on this. Sachi, you know Lingayat votes. It's got divided this time. Yadurapa's hopes have been shattered. BJP also is, has lost quite a bit of it. So it has obviously gone to Congress, right? Yes. Because and, you know, uh, Sat, 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 Satnarayan's question that why it has not gone to JDS? No, wait, uh, see, in, in long time Karnataka politics, right from the time of uh, Nijalingappa, from 78, Devagoda is seen to be an anti lingayat yes. leader. So Kumar Swami has been trying to overcome, but uh, you know, just seven years ago, MP Prakash was driven out of the Janata Dal secular. So somehow that community does not bond very well with uh, JDS. Then it was not even bonding with the Congress till the last. No, election. it was not bonding with the Congress because they had this sense of grievance that Virendra Patil was uh, unceremoniously removed by uh, Rajiv Gandhi, and then they and SM Krishna had been unfair to them. That's why the Lingayat Swamiji's got together. They said we are going to bring BJP to power. So last time, as Mr. Satan said, there was this perception that a Lingayat has been cheated by the JDS again. Right. That Edurappa was not allowed. So to that consolidation was So quite all complete. that happened. But then this time the Congress. Congress, as I travel through this Lingayat belt, Edurapa belt, what I could see is the Congress, at a um, uh, cost of considerable media criticism, internal criticism, decided to give tickets to Shamanu Shivashankarpa, who had emerged at very late age as the Lingayat face of the Congress. And, and in for the last one year, he has been bidding for the chief minister, yes, leadership post. And, and, and they gave a ticket to his son in the neighboring conscience. Neighboring conscience. Which is and very unusual. They said that People criticize that Congress has lost the Muslim vote because that was a uh, genuinely a Muslim conscience. Right. So the Congress this time, without projecting a Lingayat as one of its CM candidates, said that we are giving you honor, dignity, and they have given maximum number of winnable Lingayat tickets. So if you look at and the both shift, father and son have won. Both father and son have won. And if you look at the entire belt from Tumkur to uh, Belgaum and then uh, parts of uh, Hyderabad, Karnataka, the Lingayats have gone to the winnable Congress candidates. That's, that's a big uh, shift that has happened in this no, but Yes, thing, yes. Uh, right, he's very right. You see, uh, the mainstay of the Congress victory in this election actually is the 71 Devrajas formula. You know. And yes, the Congress gave candidates both from Vokalega and Lingayat communities. The mainstay is this vote. And the overall impact of this election is the crumbling of the vice-like grip of these two communities on the politics of the state. That's a very interesting. I think that I, you have made the a very interesting of the point. State. And I think this is where the real challenge lies. Of course, the Congress must expand its base to add the Lingayats with this original Ars uh, constituency. Yes. And if they do, then I think they would be uh, strengthening themselves in the 2014 elections. And that is where I believe that because Yadurapa does not carry the baggage of a Kalyan Singh or a Uma Bharti, and he just has a taint, 
and taint is nothing permanent in Indian politics because we have seen, uh, you know, JMM joining up with the BJP and, uh, you know, in, 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 in Himachal, you know, Sukram joining up with the BJP and the Congress too embracing these people. I think that if there is some degree of a tacit understanding between uh, Yadurapa, who lately started calling himself a secular, and also uh, he was trying to become a latter day Bomai, you know, uh, you know, whether he could or not, I don't know. Uh, you people know it better because you come from that state. <laughs> and he was also praising Sonia Gatti. So the point is that here is a man who is willing to partner you. Now the Congress has to take the difficult call. Either they build uh, Vokalika and Lingayat leaders from within their ranks. Or, 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 or they impose or, it from outside, or, or from all outside. the BJP. We are, we, are, we, are, we are joined in now by Renuka Chaudhary, the Congress spokesperson. Uh, Renuka... Congratulations. I think there's a very, amidst, amidst quite a bit of gloom in Delhi, there is, there is a lot of bloom in Karnataka. For you people at least. Renuka? No, I, we really are uh, uh, grateful to the people of Karnataka. Uh, yeah, the, we are really grateful to the people of Karnataka. This victory is truly theirs. In the highest uh, uh, principles of democracy, they have voted uh, us there and we don't just see this as a reward but as a great responsibility and uh, it is a reflection of what the people have seen that we do for the nation and for the arm army across the across board so our right to education uh, uh, programs like this which we have done for the common man as well as the food security bill that should have been brought in it was not just the regional imbalances of the BJP, but the fact that they played a negative role in parliamentary democracy when they didn't allow parliament to function. This is witnessed by people and it's ridiculous if you think that people are not influenced by seeing what they do, that they have been hampering democratic processes and valuable bills which were up for discussion were not discussed and they were not allowing the land acquisition bill which would have benefited crores of farmers across the board. Renuka, and they saw this as absolutely Re Renuka, Ren obstructionist okay, and that Renuka. is what went against them. So Renuka, you think that what the, 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 the behaviour of the uh, opposition, especially the BJP in the parliament at the national level is what was one of the reasons for your victory in Karnataka? Is, is that what you are trying to say? No, it's also the fact that the Congress has historically proven itself several times and repeatedly where our commitment to the common man is concerned. If you look at the legislations and policies that we have implemented over a period of time in so many years, which have had far-reaching consequences, such as the amendment of the Constitution when we brought in the 73rd and 74th, and today you have... 50% of women participating at grassroots level development and elections. Who had the foresight to do that? Right from the time late Indira Gandhi talked about nationalizing the banks, keeping the common man in mind. Our legacy and our, our foundations have always had far-reaching consequences okay. for okay, the let benefit me let, of the nation. Okay, let me it let is me. that proof and evidence that let, has convinced the let, people. Let, let me get uh, Mr. Chandra Gowda in on this. Mr. Chandra Gowda, this is a negative vote. Yes. The, you know, yes. people, your, 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 your and your party's approach and behaviour in the parliament, Sri Renuka says, has partly been responsible for what you are facing today in, in Karnataka. It's also some of, the, some of the policies of the Congress party. That's what she claims. Trying what, to endorse how, yes. what the ministers have done, wetting the, wetting the CBI report by the for, 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 for ministers and the prime minister and then submitting it to the, before the Honorable Supreme Court of India. And Supreme Court of India has clearly directed the CBI to bring in a clear report, but when, when, when that question, do we mean to say that we should keep quiet and what is happening in um, all other scams which we have brought out many a times, what happened to the parliamentary committee constituted Mr. to look into the other Mr. matters Mr. Mr. Before, giving, before giving the report, 
Mr. Chandragoda, let me get... Therefore, ah. therefore, what... Precisely the kind of disconnect no, 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 that the you, BJP has with the reality. What we have done in Parliament is really what they we are expected to do as a completely disconnected to a reality check. When there they is could no have majority, said all this in Parliament. When to, Okay, I, 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 let, let we me have get, said let, it. Let me let Mr. Yeah. Chandra Gowda, let me get, let me let me get, I'll tell you. Mr. Chandra Gowda, let me let me get a neutral voice on this. I, I, Mr. No, no, let, uh, let me get a neutral voice on this. Mr. 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 Satinarayan, do you think that the results in Karnataka uh, reflects the, some of the, some of the uh, issues which Renuka Chaudhary was, uh, was talking about? Or even Mr. Chandra Gowda was talking about. Do you think national issues had any role to play in the in the outcome of the uh, uh, you know elections in Karnataka? No, I am very surprised that uh, uh, many people in Delhi think that national issues, parliamentary parliamentary walkouts, have any 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 impact on the thinking of the rural people here. Yeah, but. Another thing is that you are dividing the state of Karnataka into south, south and north. There is a huge area called, a, called central, central Karnataka. Right. And that, is, and, and that is mostly inhabited by OBCs. Right. It is, it, it's an OBC tract. And this time, this time, Siddharamaya, OBC leader, was projected as the chief minister, not not by the party, but by the people themselves. People themselves. And and that people themselves thought that if the Congress wins, Sidramaya is going to be the chief minister. Right. <coughs> going to be the chief minister. And that is the reason why the whole of the Central Karnataka belt has voted in block for the Congress. Okay. Last time they did not have any any hold in that area. Absolutely. I I, th I think you have made a yeah, well, I think you made a, I, I want to bring Sachi in. Sachi, you know earlier Vinod also mentioned it and Mr. Satnaran is also talking about it. The revival of the earlier formula, the Devarajar's formula of the OBC minorities Dalits. Is that what has given Congress this this kind of a result? Or you know, do you, you see some other no, factor working? See the what had happened to the Congress over the years was this formula had certain, suffered some dilution because the original formula of Devrajas had these three plus the Okalikas. Right. So that's where, um, so that he had reduced the Congress vote into a Lingayat party at that. Then that underwent changes because every time Congress lost power, people said that you have to bring in the major caste. So Virendra Patil was brought in in 89, he succeeded. The, with this mass of votes, but plus the Lingayas, they had a big victory. Then again, SM Krishna Avakiliga was brought. So this time, the Congress was much more subtle. It did not give a projection to any major community leader, but it did not um, also project either an OBC or a Dalit, because you know there's been a strong erosion of the Dalit vote for the Congress. Right. So in fact, last the, election that was the very PCC visible. president who is a Dalit lost uh, the election lost in Kolkata because both OBC and uh, the untouchable oat uh, deserted him. Right. So there, there's a lot of uh, shifts. So the same Devraja's formula, which had worked in uh, coastal Karnataka due to land reforms and other things, had deserted. The Sang Parivar had come up very strongly. Right. Now the Sang Parivar has waned there. So again, those castes have become. Mm, they've been liberated from the Sang Parivar's hold and they moved to the Congress this time. Renuka, so there's a lot of ch minor changes have taken place. Renuka, you know, th this caste, let us, let us, let us all, uh, we, yeah. let, us, let us admit yeah. that caste plays a major role. Political party strategies depend on, on, on these things. You think that th this, uh, you know, this OBCs, the Dalits, you know, the Muslims, the have I come back, have come back to the Congress. I think the young India is concerned about that. Of course. Well, let us hope so. It has always been Congress that has been inclusive, that we have always reached out and believed that there has to be social equity. And uh, we have always had great leaders amongst uh, which reflect. And it is only the Congress that has always given these opportunities. So I think that is the fundamental attraction that happened, the secular the umbrella, inclusiveness the, of the, the umbrella, Congress. The umbrella nature of the And the values the party. and the policies that we have structured. Okay, Mr. Chandra Gowda, you know, in, in terms of... Yeah, well, in, you in, could see it that way. In, in, Mr. Chandra Gowda, in terms of the caste combinations which has brought about this result, 
you think that this ahinda we would we, you know this movement which was led by sidaramaiah after he quit the janta dal for some time he led this movement of ahinda ahinda which meant minorities obcs and the dalits you think that that combination has helped uh, the congress this time mr chandra gowda sir uh, mr satnarayan did you hear my question you can you can take this question mr satnarayan yeah it, it has helped the so this this yes, it is a see you if if the if the dinga is for the only factor yes then then the then the bjp would not have would not have lost their seats in in the in the coastal region absolutely absolutely i think you have made yeah. that the there are no dengas there in the coastal <laughs> region <laughs> yes i think the coastal the results of the coast mr sadnar and i want you to address this issue also the results in the coastal region how do you see this because th this was the region where the where the sang parivar had had made huge inroads or you know in the last several years bjp congress had been very had found it very difficult to you know, make inroads into what which once was their territory no no it How? was a misnomer in in the whole of the district of south in the whole of the district of south kandra and udupi yes. of the 18 seats bjp had only four No. and how can the four seats of out of 18 become a bastion of the sangha parivar I, i think i it think it never was i think the, the, there was they, they had more in seats in fact they made a big issue of that in the yes yes please in the, in the cities yeah yeah one in udupi this time it's the backward class candidate was one <laughs> yes yes Sachi, mother had uh, won on a BJP ticket there for the Lok Sabha. <laughs> Sachi, no, no, Sachi, so, this coastal, you know, let's let's concentrate a little bit on the coastal regions. Satnarayan is saying that you know they had won. I have from uh, what results I have from the last elections, I think BJP had more seats in uh, Udupi and Dakshin Kannada than four and four. Yes, had. more yeah. than four. Two so, districts. Um, so, uh, but look, no, the coastal Karnataka had. Uh, been you know because even in uh, uh, the first election after the death of devraj yes when the the bjp in its first election in karnataka got 18 seats in the assembly and lent crucial outside support to janta party out of those 18 seats they had won eight seats from coastal karnataka right so that is where their first base was that that region i know i just want to i just want to uh, correct the correct this uh, figures in in 2008 bjp had won 8 of the 13 seats yeah. from mangalore and would be combined Udupi. dakshin kannada yeah. and would be combined yeah. together there 13 8 seats eight out of 13 That's what and, I'm saying. and congress eight. had 5 yeah yeah and but i think this is reversed now he's also adding the uttar kannada district which is 5 uh, this yeah. but there also there this, this, this number has reversed 8 out of 13 has been reversed yes. you're right that's what so that is a, that is that a, you know does it indicate something about the uh, mood of the people as far as issues of communal harmony is concerned not only that you know bjp used to be claiming sang parivar that we are the guardians of morality and all that but look at the kind of sexual scams with the bjp's mlas from that region got into <laughs> i mean uh, one of them uh, you know his yes, wife one of the one of the candidates who was found watching porn, porn in, the, in the assembly in the assembly has won again yes yes, yes. lakshman saudi has won again so time. lakshman saudi was not from coastal karnataka no could not no, no, raghupati but yes, raghupati yes. but that cd surfaced about right. his affairs and all that i mean so there was a lot of uh, this thing that their uh, postures and their uh, preachings were not consistent with their behavior let me get uh, chandra gowda mr chandra gowda mr chandra gowda the results from coastal karnataka we are discussing yes. you know the, the last time bjp had won 8 of the 50, 13 seats this time the whole thing has got reversed for major may, one of the major reason one of the major reasons we lost co coastal karnataka is dr acharya's demise uh, he died uh, uh, his demise has played a very vital role in uh, because he was the backbone of building the bjp you think that was and the only reason two, yeah you know that independent candidate who 
independent candidate who has won now from um, uh, Udupi area. Yes, yes. Kapu constituency. Right. Right. He is. He has won is as an independent who is who is supposed to be the most honest and uh, decent personality so far as the people of that area is concerned. And he has won as an independent. And BJP didn't give name a was discussed to be added in the. And no, not a ticket. He was to be sworn in. He was called to. He was called to Raj Bhavan and uh, the other person was preferred. <laughs> And no. number three, yes, the number is policing, three, yes. policing in the South Kendra. The moral policing, pol policing in South Kendra about the two policing by the BJP workers that went against the youth and, were completely um, against that this has kind also of worked of against us. Aberrant behavior. And more than anything else, yeah. Yes. 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 Please complete, Mr. Gowda. Yes, uh, uh, that kind of moral policing that uh, was I, done uh, so in Mangalore and Udupi areas didn't go down with the young may, people may, at all. I think Renuka, yes. Mr. Chandra Gowda is being frank to admit that that, is, that that was one of the problems. Yes, Mr. Gowda, please complete. What yeah. of the problems? Yeah, what I'm, the, I'm one just the, one of the agreeing issues, with him and telling him discussed. we are discussing. And I tell this you, is not an accusation. Renuka, Renuka, Renuka ji, no, Renuka ji, in 1974, Hmm. Land reform Tell was introduced by Devrajas when I was also a, there as a member of Lok Sabha, and no, 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 no state in the country had taken up that issue. Reservation for the backward classes, reservation for the scheduled caste in promotions, all these things we have done in 1970s. Keeping that in view, this time also we formulated our manifesto and presented to the people. But unfortunately, the infight was so big that everybody wanted to assert for himself and Mr. did not work for the others. Mr. Chandra Gowda, he unfortunately... He had some time to discuss about... Uh, Mr. Ch Mr. Chandra Gowda, unfortunately... And I would say... Mr. Chandra Gowda, uh, unfortunately, you were in a different party at that time and now also, unfortunately, yes, yes. you are in the wrong party. Anyway, I, 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 let, me, let me steer the discussion towards another major issue, Sachi, the issue of corruption, the issue of mining lots, the issue of money power. You think this election, this result has given us some indication of how the people react to this kind of thing? The huge money power. The Reddies are completely over. The BSR Congress hasn't won any, uh, not yes. much many seats. You know, is, the, is this a clear uh, verdict to the people that will not tolerate this beyond a point? No. Also, you must look at the performance of Ed Europa himself. Himself. See, he has, uh, if he was a very popular chief minister, if he had delivered a lot, as he said, that I, I did so much of development, no other CM. One lakh crore budget, and, 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 and you know, farmers budget. Separate budget for farmers, uh, cycles for girls. If he had been such a strong welfare chief minister, why would he fare so badly? I mean, okay, his party was new on a button. He could have drawn the entire BJP into this thing right. because he had lost credibility because of the corruption charges, because of the very wavered way of governance where, you know, favors were granted, decisions were taken. And then people, when I was traveling in Karnataka, they said, yes, they spent a lot of money on roads, bridges, uh, um, irrigation projects because they wanted to make more money. That is a perception, and, not, and not because we got And many roads. of that on the, was on paper. Was on, was on paper. That's what. So they said that he, the uh, uh, water resources, public works, mining, and all these ministries, revenue, were all used to loot because the Reddy brothers controlled the revenue ministry right. for nearly three and a half years. We know. You think that you know this is this this verdict will have some impact on 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 the on on the issue of money power being used in other uh, other states? No, I, or because I, I, yes, I'm a bit confused. You see, look. When this anti-graph movement, which had a national dimension, which was being run from Delhi yes. by people like Anna Hazare and Arvind Kejriwal, one of the centers, most prominent centers in the headlines, or at least in the, on the moving picture on the television cameras, okay. was Bangalore. Now, what has Bangalore done by way of a verdict? Has it uh, yes. rejected corruption? No? It has. How? It has given 17 seats to the Congress. No, that's what I'm saying. From 11, it has gone the up to Congress, 17. No, the here is an issue yeah. that 17 seats to the Congress, yeah. which was the target of a national campaign against graft, <laughs> you know, and it has got 17 seats from Bangalore. Right. So, I mean, I wonder, 
that whether corruption is an issue at all. You know, you know, I want to, because... No, because, I, I have, you know, because, because, because I'll come back to, you know, you, you come at, you, your point is well taken, but I have the KJP the spokesperson, Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, he's joining us now. This is an issue which directly, you know, affects, has affected him, which, which is an issue which he needs to answer. Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, thanks for joining us. Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, it, it, it just, it's just coincidental that as you joined, we are discussing the issue of corruption and, your, and, and the performance of your party. Do you, do, you, do you think there's a correlation to it? The, 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 the rather dismal performance of your party? Uh, Girish? Yes. Girish? Yes. No, not at all. I don't think corruption was an issue in this uh, election at all. Uh, the first thing which was in the mind of the voter, as I see it, is stability for the government. For the past 10 years, Karnataka has seen coalition governments and a lot of instability. So people wanted a single party rule in the state and uh, towards the end of the campaign, uh, we were getting a feeling that people are getting polarized for a single party rule in the state. Okay. So you think that the that all those allegations of corruption and all those, uh, your leader, Mr. Edurapa, landing in jail had, had no impact, had no impact on the voters? And if, if it had no impact, how do you explain the dismal performance of your party? Uh, Girish, if corruption was an issue, uh, how, how Congress said. is uh, because it's uh, very less corrupt than any that people look anybody for else? A stable government. I will, I'll come to you. I'll come to you, Renuka. Let him finish. Yes, Dhananjay, please finish. So the point is, the 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 point is, you know. Uh, uh, we had uh, an estimate uh, about the seats that will be won by the e each party. Uh, our estimate has gone correct so far as BJP is concerned, so far as JDS is concerned. <laughs> but only in our case, it KJP went... was also aspiring to win uh, almost the same number of seats. Yes. But what has happened is, you know, because of the uh, peop people's intention of bringing uh, one party rule in the state, and because of the straight contest between uh, KJP and Congress, where the other parties like BJP and JDS could not garner much votes, uh, the BJP, uh, the KJP in the Mili has lost about 30 seats Mr. to Congress. Mr. Okay, Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, what is the lesson your party, your leader and you people have learned from this? Do you think, you, you know, that we have seen this happening in the past. Mr. Bangarappa formed his own party. Devarajar formed his own party. Devagoda formed his own party. Mr. Hegde also formed his own party. None of them have succeeded. And the same results, you know, the, the people of Karnataka have told in no clear terms that, you know, please don't try to fool us. Is that a message which you people have received? Girish, it is... No, no, I don't agree at all, Girish. The message for us is you must work as a uh, strong opposition you should organize your party better. After all, you know, our party is uh, uh, just three, four months old yes, party. It's an infant. We could not organize the party properly before the elections. So, so you an infant. So, your, so your, your party... People, uh, so, you, your, people, so you, you, your, you, your party will continue to be there. It won't get folded up or it won't get merged with any other party. Is that what you're trying to say today? Exactly. We will play the role of a vibrant opposition now. And, you know, single-handedly, Yadiropa has been fighting inside the assembly when he was in BJP earlier. Even the latest, within BJP, he fought as a leader of the opposition uh, for the uh, waiver of the interest on the loans to the farmers in okay. the wake of... Uh, uh, the I, I don't worst think, famine situation. Yes, but you know, unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, the Congress being the opposition did not fight, fight but, for that. But, but even Mr. the JDS did but not Mr. raise that issue. Kumar, it was Edurappa who was responsible to see that the, 2,300 crores of uh, benefit Mr. Mr. Edu, was reached Mr. to the Mr. farmers. Mr. Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, of, uh, I'm sorry. The interest Mr. on loans. No, no, Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, the campaign is over. The elections are over. The results have come. You know, all this was said, you know, loud and clearly by you and your party, but nothing seems to have reached the ears of the people of Karnataka. Please stay on. I'll come back to you. Vinod, before I, I let you go, I just want one. What will be the impact of the results of the election on the 
at the national level you think yeah. that first of all i would like to know which is the principal opposition party in Karnataka, with both parties having 40 seats each. I think this question would need to be resolved. Is there a possibility of the BJP and uh, Devagoda's party coming to a rotational <laughs> arrangement for little opposition as they did for the chief minister? But, anyway, we'll keep but, that, that, apart, yes. but that apart, I think that there is a clear lesson for the Congress here. This is, they cannot rest on their oars. Yes. And the biggest challenge will be the 2014 election. Right where they would be at the receiving end, they will have to do all the explaining, and one would have to see whether between now and the next 2014 election, they are able to give, if they, have to, they are able to create that first impression that will keep the Karnataka voter with them. With them. Okay. You know. I think on that note, I will let you go now. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Renuka, this, what, what Vinod said that this is a this is you know an opportunity and also a very major challenge to you because 2014 is what matters yes of course uh, girish we don't see these as rewards but as greater responsibilities and uh, this is something that we have uh, been acknowledging across the country and delivered on every front door step there are many lessons to be learned and in absolute humility we accept no, do you, do you, do you, that do you, the people of Karnataka have no, reposed their faith in us. Renuka, sorry. I, I, Renuka, sorry, do you, do you agree what Vinod said that in yeah. 2014, unlike in 2013 in Karnataka where you were asking all the questions, you will have to be answering all the questions in 2014. Do you agree with that? I, there's nothing to agree. The fact is that we will be delivering on the uh, to every doorstep what we have said. Our money will be where our mouth is. So I don't think there's anything that we will be answering. It is the people who will ask us and we deliver. Okay, Mr. Chandragoda, the lessons from this at the national level. What yes. kind of an impact this result will have on the BJP? Yes. The kind of, uh, the, 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 you know, what kind of an effect it will have on the morale of the party? at the national level. This is what in the beginning I said, this is na at the national level, this is a message for the incoming elections that more than five lakhs thousand crores has been squandered by the central government. Congress ruled, states, they have not implemented the programs which we have pronounced in the last uh, manifesto. Actually in Karnataka, Developments have taken place, but developments have been overtaken by the corruption theory which was going on. Even in the, at the time of election campaign, most of the medias, print media, uh, also the electronic media, every day they discuss and say that Congress would get 115, 120, 130. So, which has influenced the voters also of Karnataka. That is a, that's a, might have that is a, that is a completely different debate, Mr. Chandrakota, as well as and, how... And, the, and, 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 and I would say, this message Thomas should Sanjaya. be taken by the central lies. government. Instead of blaming the Karnataka or patting their uh, shoulders with uh, okay. bigger uh, okay. elections coming nearer, okay. nearer I, I would say, that this is actually a lesson they should all learn from what the people of Karnataka have said about the, or what you call the corruption or the non-performance or be it as it may. Okay. Even the Supreme Court directions have been defined. Okay. We will take care of it at the time of elections. Okay. Ms. Thank Ms. you very much, Girish. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. For Satnarain. asking me to join you. Mr. Satnarayan, Mr. Satnarayan, sir, just stay back for a minute, uh, Mr. Gowda. Sir, Mr. Satnarayan and, uh, and Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, both, both of yeah. you quickly. You know, the, you think this issue of uh, corruption will be an issue in the 2014 elections? You think this this result in 2013 will will it have any will it be reflected in the 2014 elections, or do you see the voters looking at 2014 completely differently from 2013? Mr. Anand, Mr. Satnarayan first. No, no, corruption will be an issue. Corruption will be an issue. Corruption will be an issue and a big scale for the next Lok Sabha election as far as these areas are concerned. Yes. And uh, it is not as if, uh, I, I don't agree, say for example, I am asking a question of Janandraya Kumar here, 
the Bangalore Development Authority yeah. has not distributed one single site to citizens in Bangalore. Yes. Whereas they have acquired 1,400 acres of land. <laughs> to, okay. Uh, okay, these are all... Uh, to, okay. Benefit, to benefit, they know the right to pay for that. Ex exactly. Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, quickly, do you see any hope in, in, you know, in 2014 after, after the drubbing which you people have received uh, and is there, is, there any, is there any possibility of you people going back to your mother party in, 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 the, in this next one year? No, no. Girish, the issues during the parliamentary elections will be altogether different. Uh, as uh, Satya was telling, uh, including the <coughs> corruption issue, all other issues will be discussed. Mainly the national issues, the international issues will be relevant during the parliamentary elections. But uh, uh, for your question that uh, is there a chance for us to get back to the uh, original party, I would, I would emphatically say that a big no, no point of going back to BJP. Rather, we will uh, uh, quit uh, public life uh, than going back to BJP. I don't know. I mean, Mr. Dhananjay Kumar, that we, which you have used there, is quite dangerous because I don't know whether it, you, 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 you will be able to talk on behalf of everybody else. Anyway, we, we will wait and watch. Renuka, last words to you. The challenge before the Congress after these after this results. At the national level, you think that, you know, uh, this, this results will have any impact on the party at the national level? There will be some resonance, Girish. We can't write off or compartmentalize uh, victories and losses and say that this will be effective only here. The whys and whereofs can be discussed till the cows come home. Right. The fact of the matter is that in an increasingly communicative society like ours, and uh, with the young population that's there, they see the relevance of issues. We can't say that the public memory is very short. It's what they articulated over a period of time that uh, both at the national and regional level that has telescoped into this. Okay. Now, if, you, if you're going to come out in 2014 and say that our agenda is to make the Ram Mandir, how relevant is it to the, uh, okay. to the youth of this country? And I'm sure you'd we be... We are the youngest population in the world. And I'm sure you'd Besides be hoping which, that they what would what is it. the youth face that they have that they've been able to project? Okay. So we will... There, will be, there will be some resonance. Okay. We do have our task ahead of us. And like I said, we do intend to deliver. Okay. We will deliver and gain the confidence of the people. Okay. Sachi, next one, next one year, what, what is the biggest challenge for, the, for whoever is going to head the government in Karnataka? The, the biggest uh, challenge is, uh, you know, um, to give, bring the administration back on back the rails. Into because that is the biggest challenge. Because the administration has gone has to completely sixes almost because collapsed. of the frequent change of chief ministers. There's no other thing. So that's what. And look at issues like garbage uh, in Bangalore, <laughs> the drought and drought. No, the, the water crisis. Uh, the water big crisis. Rains and the houses which had to be constructed, Edurapa's government promised, they have not been. Uh, so being any, any number of challenges which yes. a new chief minister in Karnataka will have to face. Anyway, let's hope and let's hope that the Congress party will be able to bring about a smooth transition and elect a new leader and give the people of Karnataka a new hope which they have been waiting for for quite some time. Thanks to all my guests, Mr. D.B. Chandra Gowda, Mr. Satyanarayan and uh, Dhananjay Kumar from Bangalore, Renuka Chaudhary, Vinod Sharma and K. Sachidananda Murthy. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue on the big picture same time tomorrow.